Hey guys, it's me Liv. So today I am bringing you another video of another class I took at Stamp uh, Scrap Book and Stamp Expo. Um, the one that was hosted here in New Jersey. I know they vary per place, but um, this one was given by Rubbernecker Stamps. Um, I really, really actually enjoyed this class. I'm very intrigued by watercolors. I haven't done much with them um, in terms of, you know, trying to figure out how regular watercolor liquids work um you know i've been playing around a lot with like my um mica powders and things such as that but this is is just a little bit different so um in this class we used uh the ken oliver's um liquid watercolors um for this class and we created these backgrounds ourselves so hopefully you guys can see it. So the first step on this one was to create the background. So we initially stamped on the cobblestone. Then we picked whatever colors we wanted. We used this product here that was called like a metallic um, finish in it. And um, I'm not even really sure exactly what the name of it was now that I can't remember. But you can mix it with a color and then stamp it on and it created this really shimmery thing. And then they had already pre-cut this uh, flower for you. Um, and what I ended up doing, some in the original class, um, it is a white flower on left it like that. Sometimes I get a little tired of listening to instructions and I let my mind go where it wants to go. So I did, ended up painting this as well and leaving just the white as it is and then adding the sentiment here. The next is the saying, kind of broke a little bit of the rules here, where they um, stamped on the images. I picked a different flower than the original. Um, I think that was shown in class, but that's okay. Um, and then I put this sentiment here as well. And then this is a die cut that they gave us um, and a stamp sentiment in the back. This one was... Um, and all of these techniques were, were done with... Um, with some of it with like stamping on the colors and then skirting it on. They have like these blotch blocks that you can use and you kind of spot them all along here. But um, I really enjoyed working with these um, and just the way that they all came out. Then one of the other things that I really loved about taking the class is that Rubbernecker Stamps also gave you this really handy dandy um, stamp set with it. So this was actually the same exact stamp set that we were using in class. So you'll see this same one here, this this sentiment that you see here. Um, we didn't use all of these, but here's the sparkle one, and life. Um, so that was really thankful. And from what I understand, this is an exclusive set that will not be released until the whole 2019 um, expo. Uh, is done uh, so it will eventually come out but at least you have some exclusivity um, of a special stamp set that they offer so um, I thought that that was really neat too uh, so I did really enjoy this class making these backgrounds I will definitely try something like this again um, when I do it um, and I thought that you guys, if you are considering taking it, the rubber neck classes are really cute in regards to that. Um, they definitely have a very good instructor who goes over everything and is, um, explains the, the pros and cons of doing one way or another and how to get these backgrounds the way you want and how not to, you know, muddy up your colors too much and such. So um, it was definitely worth it for anyone who decides to go ahead and take this class okay so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you are going to the stamp and scrapbook expo and and take a rubber necker class um i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did all right have a good night we'll talk soon